let's play 10 fingers so put a finger down if the first thing that comes to your mind when you hear investment is financial investment yeah that's it hey fam how are you doing today i hope you're doing great and you're having an amazing weekend so far my name is toby achidume and you're welcome to my channel so on this channel we talk about topics tips and tricks that would help us to grow ultimately to the best versions of ourselves and we're doing this fearlessly today we would be talking about self-investment and why it is important to definitely invest in yourself but before we go on please subscribe to this channel give this video a thumbs up if you like it and share with your friends and family that being said let's get right into today's topic what is self-investment self-investment simply means developing yourself your skills and your talents ensuring that your care is important and you're making sure that you are the best version of yourself so that means you're investing in your skills in your talent in your happiness and in your growth and you're doing this intentionally knowing that any form of investment always yields return so self-investment as much as financial investment yields returns also yields returns and the plus to this self-investment is that it yields the greatest form of returns because it is returns that you get to use for as long as you like and nobody's taking it from you i mean you only stop enjoying its benefits when you decide that you've enjoyed the benefits enough and that is why self-investment is very important Today, I will not be sharing with you the different ways I think you can invest in yourself. However, I would be letting you know three reasons why I think self-investment is important and should be something that you try this year. So the first reason why I think self-investment is very important is that it is the greatest form of self-love. I mean, what is the best way to show yourself that you love yourself if not by investing in yourself? So what is self-love? Self-love is regard for yourself, for your well-being and for your happiness. It is letting yourself know that you are important to you as much as others are important to you as well. So self-love is you're doing things that helps you to know yourself better. And in that way, you learn to appreciate yourself. You're aware of your strengths and your weaknesses. You know what to work on and what not to work on. You know what to emphasize and what to improve on. That is self-love. So one of my favorite lines from one of my favorite Nollywood movies talks about self-love. I don't remember the exact words that it was said in, so I'm going to paraphrase. Basically, it is, love is like humans. So you feed it and when you feed it, it grows and blossoms to become something beautiful. But when you don't feed it, it dies and it becomes useless. That is exactly how self-love is. When you feed your love for yourself, when you feed your self-love, then you're letting yourself know that you're important to you. It grows, helps you to grow, helps you to radiate, and you know what you should take and what you should not take. You know where to draw the boundaries and the things that affect you negatively or the things that affect you positively so self-love is dynamic for everybody for some people it could be learning a skill for some people it is taking a trip taking a night in a night out self-love can be shown in different ways and i have a more detailed video on self-love i'll link it up and i'll leave the link also in the description box so you can definitely check that out but you should check it out when you're done with this particular video okay investing in yourself sends the message to you that you're important to you and you love yourself that is why you're putting so much into your growth and into your well-being secondly self-investment has the best returns on investment so basically, when you invest financially into a scheme, into a project, or just leave your money in a fixed deposit account, you know that you're getting interest. You're getting money on top of the money that you've put into that particular scheme. It's the same way with self-investment. When you invest in yourself, you're not coming out the same way you went in before that investment scheme. You're coming out a better person, so maybe you're learning a new skill, or you're coming out more relaxed, best relaxed. And the amazing thing with self-investment is that you would enjoy this benefit, you would enjoy this yield for as long as you would like. So say for example, the investments that you've put into yourself is learning a new skill. 
you are always going to have that skill and it will always be used to your advantage for as long as that skill is needed the only time that it becomes redundant or useless to you is when you say you don't want to use that skill anymore so whatever investment you put into yourself you are always going to enjoy the returns and you're going to always benefit from it until you say you're done with it and i say that to say when you do not invest in yourself but you're expecting a change or a growth in a particular area or phase it just doesn't work like that you cannot not put something into something and expect to get results from it i hope that makes sense basically what i'm saying is for you to see growth and continuous growth in yourself in your well-being and in your happiness you have to be willing and intentional about investing in yourself then that way you are sure that you're going to see growth and improvement yeah so if you want to see improvement if you want to see growth if you expect to see growth in your relationship in your career in any area of your life you should be willing to invest in it and then you are sure that you're going to see returns or you're going to yield returns in that particular investment and the third reason why i think self-investment is important is that it helps you to serve better because you're coming out a better person you're coming out a better version of who you were when you got into that investment we often say the only person that you should strive to be better than is who you were yesterday that is definitely self-investment the only way that you can be a better version of who you were yesterday is if you invested in yourself and ensure that you're different from who you were previously so guess who comes back from a trip or a relaxation or a night out feeling better and refreshed and ready to go for the week you because you have invested in yourself intentionally to ensure that you come back looking better and refreshed especially in your well-being another way to look at this is when you invest in a skill and you've learned a new skill you want to add that knowledge to your productivity at work or in your personal business you are getting growth in that area you're getting more productivity in that area because you have invested in it so you come back better and more inclined in handling or settling whatever challenge that you have had previously in that project or job or your personal business you come back better you come back bigger and you come back with more strength renewed ideas renewed strength and you're ready to work from a place of self-confidence because you have invested in yourself and you are sure that you're going to be effective and efficient investing in yourself does not have to be rigorous or expensive so it does not mean you should take a trip to the bahamas it could be a night in or a night out it could be maybe you take a weekend off of doing anything that has to do with work including replying emails it could also just be you hanging out with friends it could be learning a new skill it could be taking a short course it does not have to be expensive it does not have to be time draining what is important is that you are optimizing your potential and you're becoming your best self thereby you're giving your biggest value to the world and that is you so to recap my top three reasons why i think self-investment is important is that one is the greatest form of self-love two it has the best returns on investment and thirdly it helps you to serve people better including yourself so guys share with me in the comment section do you think self-investment is important and how do you invest in yourself let's talk about it in the comment section so that's it from me for you today i hope you enjoyed this episode thank you so much for watching but before you leave please remember to subscribe to this channel give this video a thumbs up if you like it and also share with friends and family and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.